centuries, man has sought out lonely places to temporarily break from the normal routine and usual associates in order to feed and restore the soul. There is something about being alone in the remote backcountry, the adventure of it, and perhaps a bit of risk. My first exposure to hunting and fishing was through my grandfather. When I was a young boy, he and my grandmother lived in Montana, and I remember those summers we would visit like they were yesterday. We would fish all day, and my grandma would fry up the catch that night for dinner. I loved hearing my grandfather tell stories of his hunting adventures. So many years later, my love for the outdoors, hiking, hunting, fishing, feels like carrying on a tradition that those early formative experiences invoked. Spending time in the backcountry gives me perspective. When I see the wonder and magnitude of creation, my life's worries seem smaller. These mountains stood here long before I took my first breath and will remain long after I take my last. When I'm here, I slow down. I enjoy the slowed pace of a long walk where distance traveled is measured less by miles and more by hours and days.